All right, check out our new sponsor, Greenwood Stocks. They want you to know how to be able to trade stocks and be your own boss and be free to travel the world by making passive income. We all need that passive income from stock market. What are you waiting for? Call the text 281-760-3170. If you didn't catch that, that's on your screen. Or check them out at social media, Greenwood Stocks, and catch them at Gmail, Greenwood Stock Trading at Gmail, and the YouTube channel is Greenwood Stocks. Appreciate them for giving me the opportunity. Check them out. We out. All right, we back. Check out the music and entertainment video for hopefully no more videos like this, man. And um, basically, um, Nelly unloaded, and I'll put the link in the description, on the St. Lunatics, okay? Apparently, Ali been going out here telling his side of the story, and Nelly basically, for his part, set the record straight. Let me talk about it. I'm going to put the link in the description. I'm going to tag it or I'll pin it in the post. Maybe that's better. I'll pin it in the post. But, um... Let's talk about it. And, and I came on, I seen the clip on Facebook, but I have been seeing the video going around my, my YouTube channel. I was like, man, I ain't going to pay no attention. And I started watching, I've seen the, the clip come on Facebook. So I went to watch the whole interview. And this is what you know, this is why you, why you don't have groups now. I'm going to do a, a, a live stream on this eventually, probably not today. We will have a live today. It just will be, um, I got a request to do it on that, uh, that Boosie and that Louis Harvey situation, man. So we're kind of keeping on that. And I seen, uh, check out this brother channel, Bernard Riley. They have a discussion down there every morning. And today their discussion was if you pay 100% of the bills, you a simp. So we're going to talk about that tonight. But, um, but yeah, basically, you know, I guess, you know, I kind of, as I watched the interview and I kind of been going on YouTube, I seen Ali talking. And basically, Nelly set the record straight, okay? And a lot of the same lunatics was mad because they didn't get published, yeah. excuse me, published in on Country Grammar and, they won't make no money and come on. Come on, boy. My dog's in at the step. There you go. Here come. come on. And they didn't get no money. And they, you know, Nelly wasn't a good leader. So Nelly, you know, basically took it back to the beginning. It was like 95, 96. And he was saying that how the group started, how Lee had a deal with Professor Griff from Public Enemy. He had all these deals. He knew what was a good deal, what was, you know, come here. What you do with your publishing and all of that. And um so basically, he just went in from the beginning. And basically, he said, you can watch the video for yourself, that um, when Ali was leading the group, that's how they got into the bad deal with D2, and they sold their publishing. So he basically said when they were shopping the, the uh, St. Lunatics, none of the record labels wanted them, okay? And basically, it got out, the, they got out to cool. They you know, got into, they got a, uh, somebody got, they got a, uh, they met Kuda Love. You know, he, he managed like Mason and a few other dudes in New York. He said, I want to work with y'all. So, Kuda Love started. He did some songs with him. And the five demo songs was like all five singles that came off of Country Grammar, I think, was a, a Country Grammar, EI. I um, had a few singles on there. So, basically, he said all the five singles, I think he said, that came off of Country Grammar was the five songs they shopped. They were shopping. And Ali, Murphy Lee, and all these dudes, and you know, everybody that was else was in the group, all these dudes had uh, verses. And basically... I think they ended up signing with Universal. Basically said that they didn't. They basically wanted Nelly, and they want the same lunatics. So Nelly didn't come and said, "Look here, man, y'all got to put something in, in the deal." And they said if they sold like seven hundred thousand or five hundred thousand copies, that East Saint Lunatic would get their own deal. So he said, "What are they doing? Why are they doing the um? They doing country grammar?" He said, "You know, they did. You know, contribute and write. They was mad that they didn't get paid for doing the album." For helping doing country grammar. And remember, they face was tied to this album, you know. So if this album went gold or whatever it was, or sold 700000 they would all get individual. But they was crying about, according to him, they was crying about not getting paid for the album. So they took all their verses off the album, remember this. And they took all, they didn't want to be contributed to the album, right? So, remember that, they didn't. Remember, they showed they published in the D12. So eventually... Nelly got his publishing back for seven hundred seventy-five thousand dollars. All right, remember they didn't get their publishing back, so the album did good. So they all got individual albums. I think with Universal they signed it. He didn't have to do that. Nelly put that in the contract for them dudes to get albums, and they being ungrateful, according to him. And I can see that. And they being ungrateful, and he 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 didn't. They didn't have Universal didn't want them. And what Nelly should have did was just kept it moving. He should have said, fuck the group and did his own thing. But Nelly, being a solid dude, and the dudes that have good intentions, not only just in the music business, husbands, co-workers, the guys that got good intentions, they usually get fucked. So, they go in here, he go in there and do, you know, 
they get their albums or whatever. And he gets the EI. I mean, he gets the Nellyville. And he says after Nellyville, that's when Murphy Lee did his album. So, he said when Murphy Lee, I'm kind of doing a short version. He said when Murphy Lee did his album, because they've been telling lies. He said that um, when Murphy Lee did his album, that Murphy Lee cut a deal without him knowing. So, you know, once Murphy Lee got deal, got messed up, and he got to a second album, remember Murphy Lee went gold. He said platinum, but I looked it up, he went gold. He said when Murphy Lee got his deal, he didn't, he didn't, he, didn't, he tried to do it behind Nelly back. He said that 30 ENT was imprinted on Murphy Lee album, you know, as his kind of have a Nelly's co sign. He said he didn't get a dime for Murphy Lee album. And he said that um, once Murphy Lee couldn't get his second album going, excuse me, that then he wanted Nelly to come negotiate his deal for him. He was like, oh, you went behind my back and negotiated this deal. You know, basically, hell no. He said the president at Dirty NT at the time was Ali, and Ali did a put an album out with Big Git. Um, he put an album out with Big Git instead of putting Murphy Lee album out. So I mean, it's a it's a it's a lot of stuff that he went on in there to talk about, man. And um, in from the beginning, like you gotta listen to the interview. It's deep, and you know, remember when, when nobody called him for the Saint Lunatics? For the most part, you know, a couple of them. When nobody called him for the Saint Lunatics, dude. Nelly was the country grammar went diamond. <laughs> that joint went diamond. And then uh, EI went like six times platinum. You know, that shit went like six times platinum. What nobody thinking about the lunatics? And then the co host just kept talking. This is the worst podcast you ever hear. The co host just kept talking. Now, I think uh, that was the worst host I've ever seen. The worst, one of the worst words I've seen was Just Blaze. I think he did an uh, interview with uh, Lord Jamar on uh, his joint. Um, he was a bad storyteller. Punch jump up to get beat down, but but keep but keep going. He basically said that them niggas trying to throw him on the bus, and you know he said they would go on tour, and you know he would pay them all his money, and they would complain this ain't enough money or you being stingy. He said if you could do better and you could make more money out there, why don't you go do it on your own? And he did specify during those nineties time Murphy Lee was still in high school. He said if y'all can make more money, y'all would. And he basically said he didn't. And then what really fired him up was that. They little Ali and Murphy Lee little brother whatever. They little brother was using his studio and dissing him in the studio and sleeping in the studio. He said that all of them dudes use the studio and don't pay a dime, don't pay none of the the staff there. They don't pay no dime, and and, and he let them use the studio for free. And he said Murphy Lee wife seven, uh, I think seven whatever she made good music. He said she used that uh, studio. He don't ever charge them a dime, and them and they sitting there letting their little brother. Uh, use the studio, sleep in the studio, make diss tracks about Nelly. And I know Nelly wished a long time ago that he cut them joints, cut them jokers off. I know he do. I know he wished a long time ago that he just went in and just did, did, did. Later on, how they did him, he wished he did them in front of him, getting like that. And, um, he was just ungrateful, dude. And Ali going around shitting on his name. And, like, dude, I didn't have to put you in the kind. However, no matter what he did, right or wrong, the one thing he did right, he didn't have to put in a contract that if I do this certain amount, y'all dudes get 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 a album. He didn't have to do that. He didn't have to do that. And he did that, and that's just let you know how ungrateful people is. And this is why you don't have groups now. This is why groups don't exist no more. Because it is, well, if I'm the lead singer, I'm going to do a live stream on that tomorrow. If I'm the lead singer, my band, band, Bam, bam, bam. If I'm the lead singer of my band, or I'm the lead rapper, why am I spending my money three, four, five ways? Why well, spend my money? And I can just be the star, get my money, and not deal with the bullshit. Y'all can be at home just trying to get deals, you know, biting at my ankles and all that. Like, I shouldn't have to deal with that. You know, you remember in the uh, New Edition story when, when Ralph, you know, when Face Out Love played, uh, I forget the dude's name, Marie something. When he, when he played that role, how Rob could have just signed a deal and did a solo deal. But then again, you no, know, them dudes made the right decision. They end up having to spend their money three, four, five, six ways. But, you know, you know Nelly just sitting like that. These niggas been telling lies. And well, this is what I did. And people get mad when you say what you do for people. Oh, you ain't got to tell me what you do. But niggas, you, you niggas act ungrateful. I can I can relate to this, dude. You do this for everybody, man. They act, I remember I let my boys drop, bro, $10, bro. Real shit. He need $10. So I'm like, I called him like a couple weeks. I like my ten dollars. Oh, you care about that funky? And I, at that point, in my twenties, my mid twenties, I started to figure out that 
I do. Fuck, fuck friends. Because when you need people to be there, they're not there for you. You know what I'm saying? So why I do for people when I can have my own back? So that's how I look, I, this story kind of kind of got my ear. Then he talked about the Murphy Lee deal, and he he talking about he put Murphy Lee on tail feather. He said uh, Puffy called for him, and he lobbied for Murphy Lee to go on tail feather. And Puffy, like, I don't know, you know, and that ended up being on on the Bad Boys Two soundtrack. I remember going to the movies. Remember, oh, don't shake your tail. And that ended up being on, on Murphy Lee's album that went gold to platinum, whatever it went. You know, that ended up being on Murphy Lee's album. But how can you get mad at Nelly about your, not getting your second album? But when you sign Joe Deal, when you sign Joe Deal, when you sign Joe Deal, you didn't involve Nelly. You tried to go behind his back. That's some whole shit. And then you come to Nelly because they don't trying to put out your, your second album. Come on, man. Get out of here. And now all these, you talking about what? When did Nelly come out with Sweatsuit? What did Nelly come out with sweatsuit? Give me a minute. Let me see. Give me a minute. Let me see what came out with that joint. Give me one minute. Wikipedia. Uh, let me see. One second. Let me see. He came out in 2005, so you know that's the last time I heard Nelly was hot. So you talking about 15 years later, 16 years later, whatever it was. Now y'all want to come telling people business? And, you know, to me that's crazy, man. You know, and this is why you don't have groups no more. And then you know Murphy Lee gonna be like, you know, uh, you know, uh. You know, can you, you help me, dog, get my deal? And they just being disrespectful. You And they using the studio for me. Like, if I was to Nelly, I'd tell them, nigga, get out of my face. Should have dropped y'all like a bad habit a long time ago. But hey, let me know what you guys think. I pinned the interview in the, in the uh, post in the description. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out to your business question, inquire, response, your video request. All my social media links in the description. Fast way to reach me is Twitter, then Facebook, and Instagram. We also got a Facebook group. Check that link out as well, too. Want to make a financial donation? Cash app CJ Good313. That's in the description. PayPal link there as well, too. Appreciate the love and support. One time for the one time. Me and Mason, if y'all wonder. Chihuahua, mini pina. He don't like looking at the camera. Look, boy. Look, Molly, say cheekies. All right, peace, y'all.